In this video, I will show you the interactions between the R client and the R backend based on the use case one defined in the open EO proof of concept. So first we're going to start the server in the backend. For this I'm using a Docker file I created before. And then we see the server starting up, creating a user and loading the demo data. Okay, now it's start. So first we're going to connect from the R client to the R backend. And we have the possibility to, let, to list all collections that we have stored. And in this use case, we're going to use the Sentinel-2 subset data, and we want to have more information on it. And we get all information back. The band information are included, as well as the spatial and the temporal extents. Then we list all the processes that are offered by the backend, and we have the possibility to um, describe each one of them. Um, if we do this for one, we can see that we get information about this process that contains the, a short description and the parameter we need to send to the server. So when we are creating a task or a process graph, we are going from the bottom up, we select a collection, and then we chain it into, a pro uh, into different processes. So we filter for a specific date range, then we calculate the NDVI, state the near infrared band and the red, infrared, uh, red band, and then we are going to find the minimum value on this time series for each pixel. So then we have the possibility to either define a job on the server from which we create a service like in WCS or WMS or we can download the information or we can execute a task directly. This means we send the process graph to the server and we get immediate results back. So if we do that We can see that in the back end there is something going on. We fill the data range, calculate NDBI. So, and then we are done. And we can see in the R client the task result was successfully stored. So we can load it as a rested object, for example, and plot the results. So the second approach would be that we create a job on the server. Sorry create a job on the server, then we describe it and we get the current status of this job which would be submitted for, for this time because we haven't assigned anything else to it. We haven't created the service or we didn't download it. And, it is, and I show you that we can download the data as raw data. So, 
we write this as binary data and we have then also the possibility to load this information to into R.